Today, we're delving deep into the world of Exoborn, the latest masterpiece from Shark Mob. Founded in 2017 by veterans of the division, Shark Mob brings its AAA game studio experience to this ambitious project. So special thanks to Shark Mob for sponsoring today's video and this year's Christmas presents. Now, Exoborn is not just a game, it's a foray into an immersive tactical open world experience. Playable on PC and consoles, this game will be powered by the cutting edge Unreal 5 engine, promising a blend of stunning visuals and fluid gameplay. Set in the ravaged landscape of Colton County, USA, Exoborn presents a world shattered by nature's wrath. Here, players will navigate through vast maps, battling the elements like storms and cyclones that reshape the battlefield. Central to your survival are exosuits, futuristic exoskeletons that empower players with high jumps and special abilities. The level of customization is extensive. From an array of weapons, the exo rigs themselves, each tailored to a different playstyle and combat scenario. Exoborn offers a unique blend of PvP and PvE elements, with PvEVP mechanics adding another layer of complexity. Whether you prefer to play solo or in a team of up to three, this game adapts to various playstyles, making it accessible yet challenging to master. The game's narrative revolves around the Reborn, survivors who are equipped with implants to harness the power of exo rigs. As you progress, you'll engage in crafting, upgrading weapons, and forming alliances with NPCs to enhance your arsenal and abilities. The setting, Colton County, is chosen for its unique cultural and natural richness, offering players a world that's as intriguing as it is perilous. The game's narrative is deeply intertwined with this setting, creating a world where every interaction and decision impacts your journey. What sets Exoborn apart is its commitment to creating a dynamic, ever-changing gameplay experience. From unpredictable weather changes to unique encounters, no two games will be alike. Long-term progression in Exoborn is distinct. With a focus on crafting and customization, your character's appearance and gear are completely in your hands, allowing for a deeply personal and involving gameplay experience. To be a part of this exhilarating journey, join the Exoborn community on Discord and follow them on social media for the latest updates. I'll leave those links in the description down below. Uh, these UE5 cinematics are really stepping up with all the effects and the lighting. So it looks like we're getting some cool kind of power fist force uh, upgrade on the exosuits here. And it looks like you also get, I don't know if this is from the offensive kind of fist push, but maybe this is a defensive shield. Looks like you are going up. I don't know if this is supposed to be a player or maybe an AI enemy, but uh, something with a very large high caliber machine gun. It looks like maybe this is something you can attach to your exosuit later on. Okay, he's about to eject himself into the uh, into the tornado here. This is a S tier escape. So I really, I really wonder if, if in game you'll actually be able to do things like this, like shoot out the glass and then jump and, uh, you know, fly out of a multi-story skyscraper, or if this is just, you know, some trailer stuff. But I mean, if, if you can, it speaks to the scale of the verticality that they're going for or the scale of the world. I'm also very interested if they're actually going to let you interact. I know they talk about letting you interact with the storms and how the storms and, you know, tornadoes or hurricanes are going to affect the gameplay. I actually wonder if they will interact with objects like buses or vehicles or, you know, anything that's floating around in the tornado and you'll be able to actually, you know, grab onto them like Spider-Man or stand on them like this guy is because that is something I don't think I've seen in any game before is that level of interaction with an environment system um, that has you flying around in a multiplayer setting. So that that could be definitely something new. So seeing this paragliding thing makes me think that, you know, being able to actually exit large multi-story buildings or jump down because they mentioned verticality in their brief. Like, it, I, I'm imagining you should be able to jump off of very high structures, which, you know, tells me that this is a large game world um, because they're showing so much of this, uh, you know, jumping out of buildings and using paragliding to fly down and then also interacting while you're in the air. I think that's going to be a big part of the game. Yeah, because there you see it again. Um it might be a way that you chase players, you know, and, and you, you have to, you know, not only think about mobility on the ground, but also through the air from high structures to low ground. And 
you know, flying through the tornadoes and whatnot uh, is definitely, I think that's pretty new. I don't think I've seen any games uh, do something like that. At least not mid-match. Okay, this looks to be yet another style of upgrade. So he's, you know, been able to equip himself with a power fist that pushes some kind of force um, with a large machine gun on the same hand, I think, or maybe it's the other hand. And then also it looks like he's got some major uh, power slam ability incoming here. We also see a school bus flying in from the top left. So this is probably going to crush this guy. Okay. So definitely an extraction shooter as you get that uh that message from the talk or whoever it is uh commanding these easy dudes out. on the ground. Easy in, easy out. I'm surprised these people aren't wearing helmets. That's all right. Oh, this looks like um this looks very inspired by like the new army special or the whatever the army is using to replace the Blackhawks. I think it's the V it's not the V22, is it? I'm not sure, but uh more paragliders here. That seems, yeah, that seems to be like a big, very big part of the game is the ability to paraglide down from high structures. Yep, that's going to be some kind of hybrid craft right there that can go rotary and also fix wing configurations. So that's pretty interesting to see. Um, I wonder if it is actually taking inspiration from either the Osprey, I mean, it must be, or that new Blackhawk replacement helicopter. But yeah, Master the Apocalypse. But uh, yeah, it's a pretty interesting trailer. Um, yeah, find out more with the description down below and those links for their socials. But uh, until next time, guys, I'll see you around.